I think that uh, right now that the political uh, uh, uncertainty has been received. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I think uh, for the UK side, uh, if uh, you are talking about uh, the fundamentals, uh, such kind of uh, the uh, uh, like uh, the twin deficit or the stagflation problem, I think uh, are still quite serious uh, in uh, UK. So uh, after that uh, market digesting some of this kind of uh, political uncertainty, we got a new prime minister. And when after uh, setting up uh, the uh, new uh, fiscal policy, I think that uh, market will start to shift back their focus back to their fundamentals and it will limit uh, the gains uh, and upside for the sterling. So I will see uh, right now uh, the sterling may be a range uh, between uh, 1.1 to 1.15 level uh, in the short term before uh, the government revealed a more uh, important uh, policy direction. Right. Uh, and so what does that mean for the, the, the near term, foreseeable future, the range for the pound? I think for the uh, medium terms, I will see the 1.1 should be a uh, uh, start uh, for the bottom because that's uh, I think a previous uh, the, such kind of a crisis mode in financial market, uh, they were talking about uh, the, the pension fund squeeze. I think uh, at this moment, the government will be quite uh, careful uh, to reveal uh, a, a shocking policy. So I think uh, at this moment, 1.1 level should uh, provide uh, quite a good support uh, for the sterling. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, that's uh, the uh, main direction point for, for our view on the sterling. 